Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Tepsi, and today we are going to review yet another shoe and sneaker from my collection and it's from Nike. Everybody knows Nike. So the name of the shoe is the Air Force One Shadow Women. So I think the shadow version of Air Force One is exclusively for women. However, the range starts from Japan size 22 to Japan size 29. So men with the with the sizes that typically um ranges from 27 to 29 can actually buy this one and add it to their collection and i'm very sure this is a color scheme or color code of the shoe that is limited because i cannot see any of these shoes anymore probably one month after the release so it was released late last year and you know became very popular probably last January but I don't see anyone wearing this except women but I specifically like the color because it looks unique and I like pastel colors so let's start it comes with this box I really like the box it reminds me of high-end sneakers from Balenciaga or Gucci because it looks dirty it looks very very um strong strong Okay, so this is the box. It has the logo of Nike Air and it's an Air Force One. So you have to check here. The size that I bought is um, 11, 11, size 11. UK is 8.5 centimeters, Euro 43. I don't know the, the P or whatever. So that's just about the box. So there's a lot of logos here and other, you know, things that are related to these shoes so i actually bought this last january there i have a short story about these shoes because during that time i was hiding the shoes or the sneakers that i bought from my mom because you know i'm afraid she will be mad at me for buying shoes again because i'm quite interested in collecting some shoes or you know limited edition shoes so i was really afraid to put this in in our house so i was keeping it and not wearing it when my mom is seeing me but then you know she saw it and yeah i got away with it so i i already threw the the receipt because you know i I've, I've been using this for more than three months another story about this shoe anyway is that when i bought this shoe actually my best friend visited japan and and i i was supposed to go to osaka and kyoto to to, to tour them in japan shout out to LMA and her boyfriend um, look so I wore this for like um, two days two days starting from the day I went to Osaka then we we, we, we roamed around Lotonbori everywhere by the way that is that's the start of you know the the the, the problems with the, the virus with the coronavirus but then I really wanted to meet my best friend. I had a lot of, you know, oh, misgivings. I, I was thinking, oh my God, it's gonna be a little, you know, a disaster to go there. But you know, it was a fun day, but I would be telling you why it isn't fun to wear this in any specific trip. So let's start. <laughs> okay, so the whole um, aesthetics of the of the shoe is this one. So it is a chunky shoe, as we all know. Recently, there is a re there is a reemergence in the popularity of um, chunky shoes. I think we can thank Balenciaga's Triple S for making this type of shoe popular because you know before it was it was so ugly when I see one. Like when when I see shoes in the same. Um, silhouette I, I feel like it's an ugly shoes because you know it looks like a dad shoe actually they call it a dad shoes or dad sneakers so this is the whole aesthetic of it if you have an air an, a, an air force one in your collection on or are you're using uh, an air force one sneakers it is very familiar this is the same silhouette as an air force one the thing is because it's it is called a shadow so there is an additional swoosh we, we, that makes it look like the shadow of the main swoosh is it called swoosh this one this yellow one which they call the celestial gold as you can see if you love the color pastel this is gonna be perfect for you guys and uh, i can see a lot of women actually wearing this I, I have seen a lot of women wearing this because of its you know cute colors and playful 
take on Air Force One. It is so chunky. It 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 adds a little to your height, I guess. I'm not a very tall person, but when I wear this, I feel tall. And you know, it's so cute. It's so light. The color is so pastel. So pastel. And it's very very strong. <laughs> I don't know how to review a shoe, but anyway, it's cute. I have been using this for two months already, and I can say that you know, if if I am willing to, you know, to 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 showcase my height, I, I would probably wear this because of the additional height it gives. Plus, the color is eye catching. There's a lot of people that will see you wear this. So technically speaking, I haven't, you know, whenever I don't use the shoes, I actually um just store it in my in my closet. So even the insole has a color of pastel. I think it's pastel blue or white. So as you can see in the inner tag, there is like a made in Vietnam. This shoe is trademarked by Nike and Swoosh, everything. I don't know if... I don't know if there is a fake version of this shoes, but definitely this is not. If you bought it from the store, I bought it directly from the store in Nike sneakers, and it actually cost um, thirteen thousand two hundred yen, or in the Filipino peso, I think it's six thousand seven hundred to seven thousand pesos. Or if you are gonna buy it in U.S. dollars, probably one hundred twenty to one hundred thirty dollars U.S. dollars. So it's not very expensive, but it's a little, you know, in the middle of, you know, everything. You can actually, um, what do you call this? Um, save money to buy one, but it's not that expensive. I'm sorry, it's a little dirty already. I've been using this for two months. So, relatively speaking, the color is so cute. If you want people to actually notice that you are wearing a special shoes, this is very very cool shoes plus you know i i find this so cute there is this um portion here that looks like a tape that was taped on yet another logo of air so yeah i think this is the definition of the the name shadow to the shoes plus the this ver the, this um part of the shoes probably to to put an aesthetic to the shoes is not that in sync with the main body of the shoe so but you can al al also put this one you, you know that you can tie this one here but i don't think it's gonna look good what else also at this at the back of the shoes you know there is another sh nike logo at the back of this portion at the back of the shoe so it, it just you know shows how this is a shadow of yet another shoe probably that's the concept behind this shoes it's gonna be a shoe inside a shoe and then the shoe will turn into a shadow of the main shoe whatever okay so again i i mentioned earlier that i used this in my trip to osaka and kyoto and god if you will just imagine how difficult it is walking to these shoes. I know it is aesthetically beautiful, you know, it's eye-catching everything, the color is cute, but if you're gonna wear an Air Force One shadow, I will suggest guys for you to probably go one size lower than your size. I'm size 28 in a lot of shoes, in, in majority of the shoes, except when I want the shoes to fit me perfectly, but 28 is the shoes that is actually my size and there is a little allowance in my feet when I'm wearing a shoe that is 28 in size but of, of course I bought this online and I bought a 28 shoe sized Air Force One this one and I must say I don't know what you call it but the inside of the shoes which probably you call mm, toe cap toe cap probably this part it's so hard when you walk you can feel the structure of the shoes in this part i'm not sure if this is because this size is bigger than me but of, of course i mentioned earlier that 28 is the natural you, you know the the usual size of shoes that i bought but i was really really shocked to find out that after walking for this for about probably one hour or two hour i can feel the structure of the shoes in this part it's so hard to walk and the thing is it is not this part that makes it feel un 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 uncomfortable 
Ang arte. Pus. It's the right part of the shoes that makes it uncomfortable. I don't know why. I don't know what's inside here. I think you can fix this by buying something that can protect your foot from the inside of the shoes. But definitely, probably the mistake that I did for buying the shoes is that I bought it in a size that was a little bigger than my size. So if you're gonna buy a shoes from Nike, they are not that relevant when it comes to shoes or probably because this is a women's edition that I just bought for my own use that probably the sizes change or different so I advise you to to buy it in a physical store so you can try it on because you know I didn't expect to experience that and you know I've I've been telling my friend the, the one that I traveled with why it's so painful to wear the shoes and it's the first time I wore it so I'm not gonna we probably recommend something so probably I don't know if this if this applies to every every shoe if you're gonna buy something that is not a shoes that is specifically for your gender for example it's a women's shoes I think you should prioritize buying it in a physical store we don't know you know the inconvenience it can put on your feet and it's really painful I can I can tell you that the, the pain that I was feeling the whole duration of the trip that I just don't want to wear it anymore and I did not wear it the week after that trip because you know I don't want to experience this kind of pain my feet hurts what else so I think that's just about it if if it was the right size for me I guess it's gonna be comfortable so I'm gonna show you how to wear this I mean I'm gonna show you how I wear this and you know just just give you comments on how it feels in the feet again even if it's you know I know I can anticipate what pain my feet will will feel after wearing this but definitely if you wanted to wear this it's or if you wanted to buy this it's cool there are a lot of other colors I think they have a new color now in the website of Nike it's the university red I actually like that so if I am I felt like buying one probably I'm gonna wear 27.5 you know a half size lower than 28 or probably 27 well, I don't know but I don't know what feels like you can comment down below if it's better to wear a shoe that is one inch uh, one inch one size higher than you or one size lower than you so I, I just want it to feel like you know it's the perfect fit okay let's wear this one Again, I, I have already described the colors, right? It's this celestial gold. It, it looks like a yellow. I, I Recently, I am, you know, getting interested in the color of yellow. But it's, it's so cute. But this is what they call the celestial gold. Then the ivory, the pale ivory something. This light blue something, light green, and white. I think one prob one, another problem here is that it's so easy to get dirty so you have to be really careful and don't wear it in the rainy season or on days that are raining because but it's actually easy to clean it because after using it i always wipe it with a with a clean cloth so you can just do that to, to preserve the pristine condition of the shoes but you know this is actually a cute shoes a cute shoes with a cute color but then an inconvenient um feeding i guess or uncomfortable feeling but definitely I will recommend it for people who likes cute shoes <laughs> because I like cute shoes but you know they always say that you know you have to sacrifice for the sake of beauty and art and aesthetic so if you are willing to put your feet in a challenge every single day then I would advise you wearing this on your usual <laughs> size so let's wear this outside I mean I'm not going outside, I'm in self-quarantine actually, so I'm just gonna walk around our house or, you know, at the outside skirts of our house and, you know, I'm gonna describe to you how it feels to be wearing this particular shoes. So, let's go! guys let's wear this do you ever feel lazy putting a shoes inside and you don't want to take out the laces 
because I do that all the time. Again, this is a bad um, thing to put your shoes on. A bad way to put your shoes on because it's gonna crease on the back of the shoes if you do that all the time. So you have to be careful. That's why you buy the, you know, the foot, foot insert or something. Okay, let's walk. Why am I so tired? I'm just gonna put it, it like this so you can see. So I'm wearing it right now because it's not a, it's just a short distance. I cannot feel it yet. Oh my god, I think it's raining. So I'm just gonna walk in this vicinity of our house. Is it raining? I don't think so. Okay, so naturally this is sh just a short distance so it doesn't feel painful but I guess if you walk in longer distances or other places farther places I think it's you're, you're gonna start feeling it but I can assure you guys that I can really feel the interior of this part of the shoes the right part so basically if you are just you know if you walk quietly and softly it's not that painful but if you are in a hurry like in a trip you can almost feel the inside of the shoes it's not good it's not a good feeling so you can run from with it you can walk it's actually cute but seriously if i'm gonna buy this shoe again i'm gonna buy one shoes lower than my shoes i think that's just about it so that's it Thank you so much for watching. It looks like in my feet. It's really cute. It's really cute if you're just gonna stand. But if you're gonna walk for long distances, I don't think it's a good shoes. <laughs> I would definitely not wear this in my next trip ever. And I'm not quite sure if this is visible in photos. Guys, we're done for today so thank you so much for watching and if you actually like the shoes you can buy it but again just follow my advices that i mentioned in this video so thank you so much for watching and if you like more please click the subscribe button down below or like this video and if you have any comments or suggestions you can comment down it comment it down below so thank you so much and see you again in my next video bye